the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 298, Luke 5 to 6, Discipline and Working Together. Jesus selected those who confessed themselves as sinners and made them his disciples, and they received intense training from Jesus. First point David, who was a shepherd, was called as king, and Peter, who was a fisherman, was called as an apostle. Before starting his public life, Jesus selected his twelve disciples who were to be with him. Peter was the first to be called, and the next was Andrew, James, and John. When Jesus met Peter, Peter had been fishing all night, but was unable to catch anything. Jesus told him to throw the net again. Despite how Peter was a pro fisherman, he obeyed Jesus' command and threw the net again. This was the first time Peter experienced Jesus' miracle. Peter was so surprised by this miracle and immediately confessed to Jesus that he was a sinner. With this, Peter, Andrew, James, and John joined Jesus first. The mission that Jesus gave to Peter was to not be afraid, as he would gather people later. In other words, he would be a fisher of people. As such, Jesus did not look for or gather the well-educated elites, but rather selected fishermen like Peter as his disciple. By the sentence that Peter threw the net all during the night, we can learn that he repeatedly tried hard to catch some fish. Jesus regarded his efforts highly and also regarded Peter's obedience highly. Someone that reminds us of Peter is David, as Peter continuously tried to catch fish all during the night. David also tried his best to protect his father's sheep, which ultimately meant that he was able to defeat Goliath using his practiced and perfected skills. Peter, with his fisherman hands, later lost one and two Peter. God raised the shepherd David to become the king of Israel, and the fisherman Peter as Jesus' representative apostle. Second point, Matthew opposed his house to hold a feast on behalf of Jesus, as well as for other tax collectors and the sinners. Jesus healed the man with leprosy. Jesus told him to show his body to the priest, according to the laws of a kingdom of priests, and then returned to living in society. Luke thoroughly recorded Jesus' healing ministry, including the time he healed a paralyzed man. When the crowds gathered extensively, one sick person who was lifted down from the ceiling by his friends was healed on behalf of their faith. Jesus furthermore forgave his sins. As such, Jesus had great mercy in his heart. Jesus called for more disciples. After calling the fishermen, he then called the tax collector. Luke emphasized that Jesus came not only for the Jews, but in order to save the whole world. To the fisherman who confessed that he was a sinner, he made him his disciple, and he also made a tax collector who was severely frowned upon during the time into his disciple. When Matthew the tax collector was called as Jesus' disciple, he was so pleased that he held a feast. He knew why Jesus had come to this world. He opened up his house and invited many sinners and tax collectors, and they were all able to meet Jesus. Matthew's actions were the polar opposite to that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, 
who criticized Jesus for eating with the sinners. To this, Jesus replied that he came to the world for the sinners, just as a doctor exists for the patient. Jesus revealed that he came to forgive the sinners. Third point, the Pharisees who were financially stable did not understand the behavior of the hungry. Luke chapter 6 opens with the Pharisees criticizing Jesus. Jesus' reply can be seen in Luke 6 verses 3 to 5. To the Pharisees who rebuked Jesus' disciples for walking to eat on Sabbath, Jesus used the example of David to back up their actions. Jesus reminded them that the most important reason for Sabbath was to protect and take care of the poor and the weak for them to rest people and fed many hungry people during Sabbath. As such, Jesus helped many poor and weak people to meet with God during Sabbath. Jesus emphasized that the Lord of the Sabbath was himself. The Pharisees, who were financially stable, could not relate to the hungry people or Jesus' disciples and merely rebuked them for not keeping the law. Fourth point, Luke records that Jesus prayed all night long before calling his disciples. After calling Peter, Andrew, James, John, and Matthew, Jesus then called the last of his disciples. Luke recorded that Jesus prayed all throughout the night before selecting his disciples. More so than other books of the Gospel, Luke recorded Jesus' prayers. Luke chapter 3, verse 21, chapter 5, verse 16, chapter 9, verse 18, chapter 9, verse 28, chapter 11, verse 1, and chapter 22, verse 44. Fifth point, Luke recorded both blessing and curses and lot that blessings would occur on earth as in heaven. Luke 6 verses 20 to 49 records Jesus' teachings in the mountains as well as his teachings on land. As for Matthew, he recorded Jesus' teachings all in chapter 5 through to 7. But as for Luke, he only recorded a portion in chapter 6 and then scattered them throughout the chapters 11 to 16. To look at Jesus' teachings recorded in Luke chapter 6, first, the emphasis was on those who were blessed. Jesus here referred to those who were poor, hungry, and sadness and were being rebuked. The second emphasis was woe to you, and here he referred to the wealthy, the happy, the ones who were praised, etc. The third emphasis was on loving your enemy. The fourth emphasis was on not rebuking others. The fifth was on recognizing a good tree. The sixth was on building a house on the rock. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.